Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I did this red door on Dad It Yourself. Getting this project started, I had to set up a paint booth in the front yard. Normally, I would have preferred to do this in the garage, but because this house is under renovation in other areas, the garage wasn't available. This 10 by 10 tent with the plastic around the outside with spring clamps actually proved to be very effective for most of the project until the wind picked up and I had to take it down because it was actually starting to get in my way and hit the fresh paint. Now that I had the paint room set up, it was just a matter of removing the door from its frame by pulling the hinges and then taking it out to the tent with the help of the homeowner. I removed all the hardware using my Ryobi impact drill and then began the process of sanding both sides of the door with a palm sander and 150 grit sandpaper to provide the new paint and area to attach to to scuff up that glossy surface. The palm sander made really quick work of this. I'll have a link to this and all the other tools I use in the description below. While I continue to sand on this door, if you're new to the channel or you're just returning, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. It really helps the channel and I appreciate the support. Now that the sanding's done, it's ready to start painting. I wiped the door down with a tack cloth and I'm using my Wagner Flexio Power Painter here. And this really made quick work of this job. I only did two coats with uh, a little bit of touch up and it was done. I used Bare Premium Plus paint provided by the homeowner and it was really easy. I let it dry in between coats and then flipped the door over and began painting it by hand using a roller and a brush. You'll notice here I painted the hinge side of the door red also, which is the color of the exterior. Inversely, the lock set side was painted white. So what you want to do when you're painting a door is open it halfway, stand outside, and the sides you can see paint one color, and then stand inside and the sides you can see paint the other color. You can see here my little paint booth is gone now. The wind really started picking up and was blowing into me, uh, slapping red paint on the white paint and other things. The reason I didn't spray paint this side of the door was purely for overspray purposes and not having to double mask and it provided a nice clean smooth coat for the interior of the door.
Now we need to replace the weather stripping. If you saw my previous video where I put that storm door in, you'll notice I removed that. I'll have a link in the description for this and I picked that up at the Home Depot. It just slides into a channel that's on the doorstop. You just cut it to length with a little bit of a 45 degree angle where the corners meet and it snaps right in. Now it's time to put the hinges back in. Um, some people would install the hinges on the door and then hang them on the door jam. Uh, because I'm working alone, it was easier for me to put them on the door jam. I put the screws in here first and then went back once the door was hung and put longer three inch screws into the structure to provide more stability for this door. Uh, it is an exterior door, so it was a little bit heavy, but I was able to manage it and move it around. Uh, I put a pry bar underneath the door to lift it up to the level and just screwed the hardware back in and the door was hung. And the final step is to reinstall the hardware on the door. The owner did not provide me with a new set of hardware, so I just reinstalled the old hardware, which was nice because everything was fit and all the drill holes and screw holes were already aligned. So this customer has a new red door. It took me a couple of hours. Longest part was waiting for the paint to dry. But I'll tell you that Wagner Power Painter really made this job good. Laid a nice coat and did quick work of it. I'll put a link down below in the description if you're interested in picking one of those up for yourself. If you have any comments or questions, put those down below in the comments as well. And speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.